Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Alrighty, pack one, pick one. This is a sweet one. Good rare with Dragon's Guard Elite, nice Mystical Archive with Primal Command, and then Professor of Symbology, probably the best uncommon in the set. And then there's some other goodies with Apprentice, Onslaught, Field Trip. So very stacked pack. We're probably looking at the top three here. I think it's close between Dragon's Guard Elite and Primal Command, and I think I have both of those slightly above Professor of Symbology, but it's definitely close. And between Command and Elite, I think Elite's still better. Sending the opponent back by a land with a second mode can be useful, there's not that many other non-creature permanents worth bouncing. And then, you know, getting to tutor for creatures nice, but we don't always have a bomb creature to search up. And uh, yeah, Elite's just a very powerful 2-drop that can take over a game. Second pack. You know, we might have to consider taking Environmental Sciences since this card just disappears out of packs instantly. And it's nice to have at least one. There's also Eliminate, and then we could go Wither Bloom with Elite and Eliminate. And that's a good start. Any other considerations? Not really. So it's Eliminate versus Sciences. Eliminate is very nice, it deals with tokens as well. And we haven't drafted a ton of Wither Bloom yet. So I wouldn't mind giving that a shot, although we did pass the Witherbloom Apprentice in our first pack. But yeah, it's definitely close here with the Sciences. If it was Sciences versus the uh, Lash of Malice, for instance, I would have taken Sciences. Got a few options. Still seeing some good Witherbloom cards with Field Trip, Summoning, Umbral Juke. Poet is more a Silver Quill card than a Witherbloom card. Umbral Juke's always fine, never amazing. Pass summoning, the first copy especially, is very important. But I do like me a field trip. Pass summoning's not the highest priority lesson for most people, so we might get more later. So I think I'm leaning field trip, but it's close. Of course we prefer one of each instead of two of one and none of the other. But Field Trip could also still set us up for a Quandrix deck in case black isn't open. So it's a little bit more flexible. Then fourth pick, we've got two main options. A Rise of Exodus, Commit to Witherbloom, Kelpie Guide, Keep the Door Open for Quandrix. And both are reasonable. With the cards we currently have, it points towards Rise of Exodus. But Kelpie Guide does a lot of work too. So I think we're going with a Rise. And nothing wrong with a Skurrit Colony. If we're going black-green, Elemental Summoning's not too useful. But I like Colony quite a bit as a 2-drop. There's also Charge Through, which has good synergy with the Dragon's Guard Elite. But we can probably pick that up later. And that's a late Quandrix Pledge Mage. Can still easily cast it in our Witherbloom deck. It's a slightly worse version of Dragon's Guard Elite, but still very good. There's also Introduction to Annihilation, which would be nice. Hunt for Specimens, I guess, also a contender here. Both the Pledge Mage and the Hunt are great. But we already have two ways to learn and no lessons, so I think I'm leaning Pledge Mage because of that. Had we taken the Pest Summoning earlier, maybe Hunt for Specimens would be the pick here. And Infuse is a fine trick, so don't mind one of those. So far so good. Got a nice mix of interaction, bit of ramp, good creatures. And 8th pick, Cram Session looks good. Not a huge fan of the Moldering Karok. Uh, big play is a fine trick if we need a combo trick if our deck's more aggressive. But Cram Session's perfect. It's on the same level as Hunt for Specimens, pretty much. Sometimes you can make better use of the 1-1 one -one token, sometimes you prefer the 4-life. Ninth pick, there's another Infuse. I might play too, but I don't necessarily need to take it here. I could take Campus in case we want to splash white, or I could take a Professor's Warning in case our deck ends up more aggressive, although might make a case for Vitality just being better than Professor's Warning. 
the warning could be better with a creature like Elite or Pledge Mage, which we don't want to reset and have them lose all their counters. Good point to pick up a charge through. All those cantrips to grow Pledge Mage and Elite. And don't think we're playing any of these. And maybe Archivists. Doubt it though. Another charge through is fine. So anything with Magecraft also becomes pretty valuable now. Alright, so rare reopens, not great. But we're looking at Mage Duel as probably the pick here with a Witherbloom Pledge Mage and summoning pretty close behind. Uh, the first Fractal Summoning is quite valuable, but with the style of deck we're trying to draft, where we try and get a creature in play, make it big with counters, and then we want some cheap efficient removal that we can enable with cards like Charge Through as well. So this feels like a good Mage Duel deck. But uh, yeah, Pledge Mage and Summoning would both be nice pickups as well. We can maybe hope to wheel Amplomancer or Adventurous Impulse. Another Eliminates. There's a Blood Researcher, Pledge Mage and Field Trip number two. Can maybe hope to wheel Containment Breach. So now what's the pick? How much life gain do we have? Not a whole lot. We have a Cram Session. And that's about it. And an Infuse. So I don't think it's Researcher yet. So then it's Pledge Mage vs. Eliminate. Might want a second Eliminate, but it's close. And then hope to wheel one of the Pledge Mages. But a Containment Breach would still be fine. So now we've got some good cheap removal. We've got some expensive removal with Rise. So we just need a few more creatures. Especially ones with Magecraft. Then there's this pack. Best card's probably like the Cultivator, but... Don't want to splash blue for Cultivator necessarily. Uh, Biogrowth could be serviceable if we end up with more token makers and random frogs we can sacrifice. Leech Fanatic's always serviceable as a 2-drop with a bit of life gain synergy. Yeah, between a Growth and a Fanatic, I think I'm leaning Fanatic since we're kind of light on those creatures to sacrifice. But even as a 5-drop it's, you know, not as good as the Pledge Mage since it trades for Elementals but still pretty large. And ooh, this is a juicy pack as well. There's a Master Symmetrist as a nice 4-drop, another Rise, and an Environmental Sciences. Sciences is better the cheaper learn cards are. And we do have a Cram Session and Field Trip. Although our curve isn't incredibly high. So I might want a Symmetrist since we're light on creatures here. And a lot of our creatures are going to have same power as Toughness, so the Trample is going to apply to something like Elite, Colony, Quandrix, Pledge Mage, and hopefully if we pick up some 5-5s. Five so I like Symmetrist, the Reach is also useful. Ooh, that's a gift. Karak Wrangler is perfect for this deck. Plenty of ways to enable Magecraft. So that's very nice. All right, six pick. Witherbloom is open. Now, Witherbloom command, while good, isn't insane. Best case scenario, we get to kill a creature with it. And there's not that many permanents we can destroy with mana value two or less. So I think I prefer to hunt here. All right, that's a late fractal summoning, which I'll pick up. Campus would be nice, Spectre's fine, but uh, again, the first Fractal Summoning is such an important card to have access to late game. Cram Session and Pass Summoning. Probably want our first Pass Summoning, since we have a few two mana ways to learn between Cram Session and now the Hunt for Specimens. And see, yeah, I'm liking the Amplomancer. Has good synergy with cards like Carol Wrangler that can put counters on it, and then we can double its power more effectively. Not too much synergy with Karok. 
And it's nice to have some cheap creatures to enhance, potentially. Alright, we didn't wield the Pledge Mage, sadly, but Containment Breach is still a nice lesson to have in the sideboard. So we've got Fractal Summoning, Containment Breach, and Pest Summoning already. Maybe Campus in case we want to splash blue. Could take the Archway Commons to maybe splash an off-color lesson. Probably not going to main deck Tangle Trap. Since we have a lot of 2-drops, I think I want Campus. Since playing a Commons on turn 2 is kind of awkward. That's a late Vanishing Verse. Already have a playset, so I'm not going to Rare Draft. But a Leech Fanatic is fine. Alright, so what we want to see now is a couple pump spells, since we have the cheap creatures. Something like a big play. Arrogant Poets might make the cut as well, since our deck is leaning pretty aggressive. Third pack opens Dina as a reasonable uncommon, but again we don't have a ton of life gain synergy. So instead I'm kind of liking the Quandrix Pledge Mage here to continue our plan of playing efficient creatures and backing them up with ways to enable magecraft. And then we can hope to wheel Hunt for Specimens, Anatomy, even the Biograph would be okay now that we have a Pest Summoning in the sideboard. And of course Dina would still be serviceable. And now we can have our big play, but probably gonna go with a Witherbloom Pledge Mage to have a bit more beef. Silver Quill Pledge Mage, also an option, since we're good at enabling it. It is double black and our deck is leaning more towards green for the double Quandrix Pledge Mage. Probably just take the 5-5 five five here to have a bit more top end. And then hope to wheel Big Play or Pledge Mage. Although Expanded Anatomy would also be nice. Ooh, that's a gift, Flunk. Can complement our two Eliminates. And our Rise of Exodus as more spot removal. Inkling Summoning would also be nice. And Spectre maybe can hope to wield that one. But Flunk it is. And then fourth pick. Looking at a Lash of Malice as a cheaper removal spell. Not the best deadly brew deck since we're again light on tokens to sacrifice. Interesting choice. Don't mind the Professor of Zoomancy, it's just a big body to keep up the pressure. Have a lot of 2 drops already, so Poet's not a high priority. And we've got a decent number of 2 mana learn cards now. So I don't feel like Cram Sessions is super high priority. Although, again, both the learn and the lesson are still options here. Well, our deck's got good removal, a nice curve, more good removal. Difficult to pass up on Mortality Spear. Our late game might not be the best, so we could get kind of overpowered by a deck with some cheap removal and a slightly more powerful late game. But yeah, with our blue most open. And the card quality overall is quite high. Just a bit light on creatures, like the Pledge Mages. So it doesn't look like we're splashing blue. I've got three lessons. Wouldn't mind the fourth one, but it's not like we have a ton of ways to learn. Uh, probably not gonna play another poet, but don't see myself playing anything else. Does Reflective Golem do anything for me? Maybe if I wheel... I guess it's good with the charge through as well, just to copy it and draw an extra card. And I do have a bit of a gap at 3 mana in my curve. And then maybe we wheel that big play to combo with it. Now I really wish I had an Expanded Anatomy as a lesson. Which is also great with the Golem. So now the question is Biograph versus Hunt. Hunt is still a great way to potentially double Magecraft, although I might be better off taking a slightly larger creature here to combo with the hunt we already have. Close call. Alright, there's a big play. I think we prefer the instant over the sorcery speed with lifelink. And then Spectre Wield as well. Another way to potentially close out the game. Alright, so we'll have to make some tough cuts here. 
Definitely ended up with plenty of playables. So Arrogant Poet might go. Might shave the Amplomancer or Colony since we're not ramping all that much. Possible we don't even want Field Trip, although it's just a good value card. Professor's Warning, one of our weaker pump spells. Could shave a charge through as well, since it's just a, a cantrip at the end of the day. Although it does have some good utility in this deck with all the magecraft. And this could also be a seven or a sixteen land deck, since again our curve's relatively low. So let's say sixteen lands. Let's put our interaction in a separate pile. This is probably gonna be a five drop more often than not. This is sort of what our curve looks like. Need to make six cuts. So definitely have more two drops than I need. We have four ways to learn. I don't think we're cutting any of these since they're also good for Magecraft. Poet's cuttable. Amplomancer's cuttable. Although it does have a little bit of synergy with cards like uh, Big Play that leaves behind a counter. Good with our Karak Wrangler. And gives us a mana sink, although it's a pretty expensive one. So the Leech Fanatic might still be better. So these could potentially go. Then probably not cutting any additional creatures. And then Professor's Warning is one of our weaker cards. Could shave one charge through. Still nice with our Reflective Golem as well. Infuse can also combo with our Golem, big play. So we have a few synergies there. So let's say I cut all of these. Then I still need to make two cuts. Yeah, maybe Biograph is still cuttable since the only real combo with it is Hunt for Specimens or maybe Cram Session for Pass Summoning to then play it on turn 4 for 2 mana. Which you know is still good but not amazing. And now that our curve is lower, maybe I can afford to cut field trips since it's not like we need a ton of lands. Still useful, of course, with our fractal summoning, which is a good mana sink, but overall we don't want to flood out too badly. Could also make an argument for cutting Lash since we have cheap spot removal with Eliminate, Flunk, and Mage Duel. That's also very reasonable. Yeah, maybe we'll cut the Lash since we have kind of the cheap removal covered. And we're more worried about our opponents playing larger blockers that get in the way of our 2-2s as opposed to the opponent playing their own cheap creatures. And then I think just enough synergy with Reflective Golem that it's still decent with our charge through big play infuse. Doesn't work with Mage Duel, sadly. Yeah, I really wish we had... Uh, and expanded anatomy to go with Golem. I think this is our deck. And then the mana base. Skewered towards green slightly. Do we want to go 8-8 eight, eight or 9-7? I think 9-7 since we have all these double green cards. Going 9-7 is an argument for cutting a Leech Fanatic and adding Amplomancer. So I could make that swap. Of course, lifelink is still nice just to win racing situations, but it's not like we have a ton of life gain synergy. Alright, this looks good. Alright, we're on the play. Hands a little slow, but we do a field trip for ramp, so I'll keep it. And then I'm already thinking Fractal Summoning here. Probably go with a Bloom Plunge Mage. Turn 4 and then can maybe combo Wrangler with a 1 mana spell. 
opponent playing Mardu. Could be make an inkling or sacrifice a creature, which would be pretty strong here. Opponent passes. Well, there's a few sweepers in the set too we have to keep in mind. Thanks to the mystical archives. Opponent passes could be an expel. But not much we can do about it. Other than I guess just not attacking, but it seems like a weird play. So we'll attack, play Wrangler, see what happens. Well, let's hope they're not sandbagging a sweeper here. Could have also decided to hold Wrangler until I can big play in case they have Igneous Inspiration to deal three. But it could easily be a heated debate, which, you know, would kill it. I guess we could have big played to save it from heated debate, but... Yeah, maybe that was reasonable. Uh, just an academic dispute. The problem is we can't give the opponent infinite time, because we're definitely an aggro deck. So don't feel comfortable just passing the turn without doing anything. And Gift of Estates. Alright, opponent gets their value. Yep, and there's Ignis Inspiration after all. It's too bad. Well, next turn we'll play a big Fractal. And keep up the pressure with our Pledge Mage. Opponent has to discard to hand size, perhaps. So it made sense that they didn't necessarily want to grab all the planes. Axis 5. And we're definitely flooding a bit here. And drew more than half of our lands. So this is a key turn. If their turn is just, you know, Annihilation and Pass, we're not too sad, because then can put them to 5 at the very least. And hopefully draw a few more creatures. Spurt summoning, that's fine. So that's a weird play if that's the only thing they have. Another land. Well, they might have a pump spell which we can answer with our big play. We'll see what happens. Sure. I'll let them learn before we big play here. Yeah, sadly we can't keep up the pressure to completely take over this game. Pupil plus Annihilation, maybe. So drawing removal would win in that case. I guess we'll attack. We have a lot of mana to sink into our elites as soon as we put a counter on it, that is. Alright, Crafty Companion 2-3. So just attack with her 5-5, five, five, play Pledge Mage, hope to draw something next turn. Interesting. Defiant Strike.
Make your mark. Alright, so that's a trade and they get a 3-2. So any way to learn here would be great since we get a bunch of Magecraft triggers. And we can double the Elite. Alright, that's trading sadly. Another Inkling summoning. Still not in terrible shape if we can grow the Pledge Mage. I'll take it. Another inspiration's painful. Alright, we're top decking, points at one, we're at twenty-two. And hopefully they've used most of their lessons already. Well, that's a nice card to draw when you're flooding. This would have been a better hand with environmental sciences in the sideboard. The last second swap we made of uh, Leech Fanatic for Amplomancer paid off against the Lorehold deck and would have paid off here if we didn't find Swamp for a while. Now we get to hold our cram session until after we play Pledge Mage. And we're curving out nicely. Next turn maybe Symmetrists. If they pass with nothing, then we would have to consider playing around Barium Books. Think we attack here. They're unlikely to block into four open mana. Opponents got the same idea. Ooh, I was about to say, could really use a mage duel here. Now our gain subtraction is still a problem. Let's see if there's a pause from the opponents. Yeah, seemed like it. So it's not the safest turn to challenge the opponent to a duel. It's a little suspicious that their turn was just cram session, so... Hmm, maybe they didn't have anything? Take it. Sweet. Ooh, turn two, Dragon's Guard Elite. Does it survive? Because if it does, it's going to get real big. Even drew the Pledge Mage. The plus one counter team assembles.
probably go for Fractal. Killing Fletch Mage instead of Elites. How do we explain that? Right, I guess that's the explanation. It didn't matter. Well, that's a bummer. Maybe Golem's still better. Well, we had a promising start. Didn't last very long. So next one we get to make a 5-5. Five five. Or we could wait a turn. At least we've got a bit of a board presence still. Infuse. Could attack with all infuse and just trade infuse for a token and an artist, essentially. Good speared artists. I think we just make a big creature. Could attack first, maybe it'll respect a trick and take it. Although they're most likely blocking at 12 life. So infusing the token, not the great value. Infusing the one ones is okay. Opponents looking at the graveyard an awful lot. Pass caller maybe. In which case, I might want to hold Infuse to protect my Pledge Mage, but we're going to be at 10, play Pass Caller, not have the mana to Pigment Storm. And then they're facing a pretty big board. Probably still go for it. All right, I mean, they're expelling a token instead of a 5-5, five five, that's okay. Although if they have a pass caller, we're gonna be a bit sad. 
Oh wow. <laughs> Mystics Mastery. Well, let's just uh, game over here. A bit better than a pass caller here, I would say. We had a promising start for sure, but the all removal into Mizzix Mastery was a bit too much to handle. make Flame Painter unblockable with a tunnel, although luckily spells are already gone. Although the access tunnel is still going to kill us at some point. Alright, I imagine that's probably game. Summoning first, replay summoning, make another 4-4. And more elemental summonings coming up. Ah yes, eliminate just what I needed. Alright, jeez. Alright, we're on the draw. Keeping. So shock or lightning bolts. Can have my amplomancer. Could also flunk here to be fair, since we're gonna lose our creature, we're gonna take three. Although the the eager first here we can still kinda hold off eventually. Make your mark needs a target, so I don't think it's that. But I'm fine with the trade. Uh huh. Well, let's kill that before it gets back a creature. So if we suspect Shock or Lightning Bolt, I probably give them the Fanatic over Pledge Mage. Even though my curve looks way better if I 3-drop and draw land and then double 2-drop, although we could play Symmetrist since we've already gotten our double green. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with the Leech. Yep. They're not pumping, so they've got a, another play rescuer. Okay. Yeah, probably gonna have to mortality spear there. And then the celebrant's still kind of annoying.
They don't have an attack with a war singer yet. So it's just a celebrant that's potentially gonna attack, but we can take a hit. Take eight. That hurts. Swamp is a little awkward. So I guess we pass with a plan of letting them pump and then spearing a response. We can still big play as well. So do I double block? Probably one two four fours. Keep a big play, I think. Can I start attacking? It's a little risky. If they find a single answer, Warsinger connects. So probably gonna stay back still. If they're playing Golem, we can assume they have the uh, expanded anatomy in the sideboard, which would be pretty effective too. Right, now we can play Pledge Mage, and we could consider an attack. Wrangler can go up to an 8-8, so they can't trade for it. How would they block a 4-4 here? Either just take it or double block it. Yeah, that's fine. Something like Study Break into Expanded Anatomy would still be pretty bad for us. Points flooding a bit. Sure. Yeah, not bad. And then could breach the golem. Is that better than just getting a fractal? Probably not. Could block with Pledge Mage and just let the trade happen. Yeah, it's probably still fine. Ooh, Reflective Golem. And we have the mana to pay for it. Now we can get pretty aggro. And by that I mean very aggro.
All right, and that does it. Sweet. Golem finally getting to shine here. We'll have to draw some Magecraft enablers. But uh, we'll keep. And by that I mean just any interaction would be nice. Eliminate's a good one. Silver Quill could be an aggressive version. So we're not above killing the Apprentice here. I'll take two in case I have a Pledge Mage we want to kill instead. Arrogant Poets. Yeah, I mean, we can probably race a Poet with a life gain from Pledge Mage eventually. An Apprentice lets their two-part creatures get past my Golem. And then we've got a reasonable curve here. Professor to Pledge Mage, Wrangler to go with any more spells we draw. All right, Professor is a good one. And we don't have a great answer for an Inkling summoning, but it's just going to be Introduction to Annihilation instead. And Master Symmetrist is going to require an answer. I think we still play Professor first. And I'm okay attacking. Because this is pretty key at stopping their flyers. And they might feel the need to get rid of my professor anyway. Which would be just fine by me. They keep looking at her graveyard. Uh -huh, and that's why. So we can attack with probably just Professor because I don't want him to then kill my 5-5 five five and then have a good attack on the ground. Although I guess we'll have our pest still. I'll trade for the flyer. Alright, that's an infusion, so now the rescuer is a real threat and Symmetrist is not enough to save us. They still have Annihilation. I think we gotta keep Symmetrist here. And then we gotta keep up the pressure since we're still losing in the air. I guess playing Swamp is still worth it in case I draw into my second Eliminate if the introduction here. Although I guess in that case there's no target for Eliminate. So I'm happy if this trades, if we attack with all, they can block this, otherwise they're dead, so I can send everyone. So they need to draw something else. I'm assuming they didn't. Alright, GG's. Seven two back to back. So yeah, there's lots of ways to draft a deck in Strixhaven, which is what makes it fun. You could stick to the colleges, but you can easily splash or 
I've even seen decks that uh, do some un unusual things and end up in a two-color pair that isn't one of the colleges. Ooh, looks like we've got all the rares of the set. It's mostly the Mystical Archives also that add a ton of variety to the games as opposed to a regular set. Like we just played against Swords to Plowshares, that doesn't happen every day. We've got all sorts of fun cards that you can't even play in Constructed, like Demonic Tutor. So yeah, it adds a lot of replayability to the set, which makes it fun. Let's crack some more packs. Sign in Blood. Still missing a couple Mythics, I was about to say, um, in the set. And of course, don't think I have all the Mystical Archives, but yeah, this is kind of the problem with Arena's economy. I've got all the rares. I can open as many packs as I want, but it's going to take a long time before I get all the Mythics and all the, in this case, the Mystical Archives on top of that. So there's this huge wall of diminishing returns you run into at some point. At least we still get a bit of the wildcard track to get us those mythics we need. And our pack one, pick one's got a bit less interesting now. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.